today I have some free mountain bike coaching for you. So I'm coming over to Grenaside to coach one of my clients, Gaz. We're going to work on jumping. I'm a British Cycling Level 2 mountain bike coach and then I also coach the World Cup athletes who ride for my team. So I've got a fair bit of experience coaching. With the World Cup season being postponed, this is a good opportunity for me to do a little bit more coaching this summer and help people get better on their mountain bikes. I thought I'd put a little episode on the vlog. So right here on the trail at Grenaside, Gaz is keen to do some work on jumps. So we're gonna start with some tabletops. Be less risk because you're not gonna land on the upslope of a gap jump. We can just work our way along it. Gaz can land wherever he wants because it's nice and flat. Gonna work on jumping technique, what we're doing with our legs, our arms. And then later on, Gaz is keen to hit a jump that comes out of a corner. And then at the end, we're gonna move to some gap jumps. So that's the progression we're gonna go for. So I'm gonna come on down now and just show Gaz the technique and then talk to him about what I'm doing. And then we'll get him on the track. Nice and relaxed, load and unload. You'll load your suspension with your hands and your legs as you're going into the takeoff. As you leave that kicker, your rebound is going to go so that as it lifts, you're going with it and you can then use your arms and legs to then push back and guide the bike into the landing. Good way to think about it is this is a dome, the roof's missing and your bike is going to put the roof on the dome. So you're going to go up, you're going to go along, down but in a curve not in like <laughs> pull as you go off the takeoff front and rear together and then that's what gives you the pop over the jump let's have a look good start okay run three Gaz is going to try and get a little bit better on the timing nice so we're really trying to get him to load at the right time feel the suspension compress so that when he unloads he gets the pop over the jump and makes the landing So last time the front end went too high, really looking for Gaz to put the dome on and bring the bike into the landing at the same pace. Yeah, see, his, his back end is dropping, so he's coming off the kicker, he's going up, but his back end is lower than his front end. So as he's coming into the landing, his bike's like this, whereas when you're coming into the landing, your bike should be matching the angle of the slope. Gaz is just loading a little bit too early, he's loading kind of there, whereas really the load unload all happens around the upslope so we're going to see this time if he can just load a little bit later pop and get the bike nicely up in the air okay so that last one guy's got his legs involved for the first time oh yes much better so i'm going to freeze the screen here with Gaz mid-air and as you can see he's just a touch higher on a back wheel than the front wheel which means he didn't quite get it perfect because in the middle of the jump for what we're doing today the bike should be level and then you nose it into the landing but he managed to shift his weight back to stop the bike really nose diving and by the time he came into the landing he'd managed to hold on to really good bike position and the bike landed at exactly the same angle as the landing so yeah that was the best one yet okay so he's really starting to feel the pop now oh yes boy so we finished on the first tabletop and we've now come across to another line gaz has ridden this track before comes out of that corner into this corner immediately out of the corner we've got this jump it's a table so it doesn't matter where you land but you've got a tree on the inside and because you're turning on the way in you've got to be careful that the bike and your body doesn't lean too far to the right it's going to be really important on a feature like this to not stiffen up stay loose look where you're going because if you go off in the air and tighten up you're going to drift right and that tree will have name written all over it. Nice and relaxed, looking ahead, load, unload. So hopefully I've demonstrated there. Come in nice and relaxed, load the suspension on the lift as the suspension unloads. Arms and legs work together, guide the bike in the landing, looking where you're going, not looking at trees or anything else. Gaz is just pushing up now for his first run through. Here he comes. That's it, so looking ahead, looking ahead. Nice, so we're just working on getting Gaz flowing through before he starts pulling second practice run not looking for any air time just flowing through he actually got a bit of air time so he's just getting to grips with the line and not getting pulled to the right fourth run which is the first run we're looking for a bit of pop nice we just need more speed and more pop Hup. so gaz has got to a little bit of a stalemate with himself now he's had a fair few cracks at it he's got the line right he's coming in at a nice speed and he's pretty much near his dammit making the landing however for what he wants for where he wants to be landing the height he wants he just needs to pop more he's just got to commit to pushing in with his arms and legs at the right time unloading with the suspension to get the height and then that's where look ahead use your arms and your shoulders to guide the bike into the landing we've asked him to be a little bit more committed this time that's it so load and pop yeah Woo! 
Nailed it, boy! So I got pretty excited then. That's the first time Gaz has not fought the bike and tried to squash it. And he's actually let the kicker kick him up in the air. Nicely in control of the bike. He was level, mid-jump, and then nosed it into the landing. So, yeah, I was pretty pumped with that. We've watched it back, and we both think he can do even better. Very nice and relaxed. Good speed. Oh, good pop. Yeah, boy. So Gaz has got to that stage now where he's getting a little frustrated because he's making the jump but he wants more height so he's unloading here in the bottom so he unloads the suspension isn't at the right place on the track to pop by the time it gets to the lift there's nothing pulling it upwards gas needs to wait not unload there and lift the bike here to get more height and get over the jump he just needs to commit not panic pull too early essentially gaza says this is his last one come on boy pull yeah best one as well so we just finished at the second spot so that's a tabletop done and then a tabletop out of a corner where you're still turning on the lip. Gaz has managed to make the landing on both of them, so he's doing really well. And we're gonna tackle a couple of gap jumps. So it's exactly the same principle. People get super scared as soon as they hear the word gap, because obviously there's something you can case. This jump is no longer than either of the ones we've done so far. So he's just having a couple of sighter runs. All we're gonna do is apply the same techniques, come in nice and controlled, load the suspension, lift over, stay in nice and level body position looking ahead so that when he lands he can navigate his way through those trees he's now coming in for his first crack at it brilliant lovely so a nice technique nice speed nothing silly in the air he was looking ahead so there's no dramas on the landing through the chicane um that's perfect so he said himself last time he was a bit back seat let's see oh much better mate all right so gaz has done the first gap jump twice and nice and easy it's nice and straight and he's got the technique and the speed so we now moved on to this one similar length slight turn as you come out of the trail onto it you don't want to case it so yeah boy lovely so he almost cased it but as you saw he just lifted his back end with his legs so that the back wheel didn't smash into the rock that was really nice mate mid-air correction so on that first crack gaz didn't quite get enough pot to smoothly Put the dome on the top of the jump like i've talked about so mid-air he like lifted with his legs and corrected so that his back end didn't hit those rocks there which was really good he wasn't consciously aware of it so we've watched the video i've shown him and he's now going to try and come in pop a little bit more so that the bike comes up more naturally in one fluid motion and then down onto the landing so let's see if he can get it here he comes yes bro that was the one lovely really nice pop glided over good day we're gonna call it there really good progression from Gaz started off not clearing the tabletop and it'd been a little bit kind of disjointed off a takeoff to be able to come into a gap jump get the nice line in pop stay even in the air get the landing sweet yes bro nice. good day <laughs> you Brought to you by Jack Rain.